Well, greetings, everyone, and welcome to a brand new year with Basic Reset. This is our live product conference call for January the 9th. 2018. We do this every second and fourth Tuesday of each month at 8 p.m. Central, 9 p.m. Eastern. And for those awesome affiliates out west, it's every second and fourth Tuesday at 6 p.m. Pacific and 7 p.m. Mountain Time. I'm your host, Ruthanna Smith, and this call will be all about the many wonderful products we have at Basic Reset. And I understand we have some exciting new products to hear about tonight when Dr. Floyd takes over the call in just a minute. Well, we're so glad you're here. We want to thank you for taking the time to be with us to share in all this excitement because no doubt it will spill over into everything you do. And that's a good thing. Enthusiasm is just plain contagious. And that's something that we definitely want to share with our downline and our prospects and hope they catch it. It's the fact when we share these great products with others, it's not only helping our own financial health, but sharing can also have a tremendous impact on the lives and the health of others. Well, we're going to get started now, but first we have to state our legal disclaimer that information shared during this call has not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration, and that nothing anyone says tonight is intended to prevent, diagnose, treat, or cure any disease. This call is for educational purposes only. Well, keep in mind that after the call, Fred will be sending out the replay numbers and the links so you can pass this call on to others, and it is a great tool to help spread the good news about our product line, which is growing, and how effective basic reset products are. There's nothing like hearing the firsthand experiences and testimonies of others on these calls to generate excitement about our products, but it's always about helping people. And when you do that, you get a feeling like no other, and it's so rewarding in so many ways. And now I'd like to introduce you to the man who's been helping people for so many years that he and his beautiful wife, Kim, finally started their own company and have brought us all these wonderful products through Basic Reset. Yes, Dr. Fred is a man on the video, which if you haven't seen, you absolutely must see. He's the man who makes it all happen for us. He's the owner and CEO of Basic Reset, Dr. Fred Kaufman. Happy New Year, Dr. Fred. Yes, Happy New Year to you, Ruthanna, and everyone else that's on the call. Happy New Year. This is going to be our best year ever, not just us in Basic Reset, but all of you who are on the call. You're on, you're on this call because you want to know. You want to be in the know. You want to be where it's happening. And we want to provide you with the tools, the information that you'll need to be successful, as well as products that are going to help you to be successful. What do I mean by that? The products are at the heart of why we're doing this. We want to bring effective products out to the public, and we need your help to do that. And that's why we started Basic Reset, which is a network marketing company. The reason that we are excited about the products is because there are so many nutritional supplements out there, literally hundreds of thousands of products. When you start to look at what's available in the marketplace, it seems a bit overwhelming. How do you know what products are going to help you? You can't just look at the science. You have to look at the results. So pouring over this has been going on for more than 45 years that I've been doing research, pouring over all the data, all of the analysis, all the scientific studies, the clinical trials. All of that is very exciting to me. I love it. I eat it up with a spoon. But at the end of the day, the only thing that makes the cut for what I'm willing to promote is something that produces results. And that's what we have at the heart of our company. We're results-driven. There are a lot of companies out there, and some of them have some very interesting products. Some of them boast about their studies and their trials and all of the data that backs up the claims that they make about their products. But too many times we find that these products are really not producing results that you would expect based on all of this research, all of this proof, so to speak. And so we have as a bottom line qualifier for products that come into our lineup 
they must work. They must be able to give people results. We have two new products that I have been really, I'm not going to say working on, but I have been looking at for more than 20 years. That's right, more than 20 years. And one of the products is a water additive. And you might be saying, well, Fred, we already have two water additives. Why do we need a third one? And you'll understand why after I start to explain it to you. We're, we're calling the product PHFX or PH-FX. We kind of have attached the meaning to the initials FX. If you say it real fast, it sounds like FX. So the, the point of that being that the effects that you receive are related to the pH. So we have another product which is called Dynomin, kind of a cute name. It's referring to a mineral-based product that actually was formed at the time of the dinosaurs. So let me start out by talking uh, about the pH effects first. I started to, I guess, first be exposed to the concept of a water additive that would change the molecular structure of the water into something that didn't act like ordinary water any longer. And this product is mineral-based, but it's not really something that you can count on to supply your daily mineral needs. It's just that the minerals were accepting the process to restructure the water in a way that we really haven't known before. So let me give you an example. The molecular structure of water is not just a bunch of H2O molecules floating around in a container. H2O, as you know, is made up of two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. Well, the hydrogen has such an affinity to attach to other things that it really wants to attach to other water molecules. So if you could see it under a microscope, water would actually look like a series of a bunch of grapes. We call that a cluster. And they cluster in groups of of molecules at the rate of about 14 to 16 at a time. So just imagine a bunch of grapes that had about 14 to 16 grapes attached to the stem. And when you put in something like the aqualite and ionite, they restructure the water by breaking up those big clusters into something that's more easily able to penetrate the cell. But it does it in such a way that you would, you would actually see as cutting the clusters in half. In other words, instead of 14 to 16 molecules in a cluster, now you would have only about seven or eight. And that makes it real easy for the water to get into the cells. When you add the pH effects to the water, it does it in an entirely different way, restructuring the molecules in a single um, string. In, In terms of this illustration of a bunch of grapes, it would be like picking the grapes off one at a time and lining them up. So much like a train is one car attached to another car attached to another car in a single line, that's what happens when you put the pH effects in water. What that translates to is an even smaller molecule structure to go into the cell. In other words, instead of a small cluster, still a cluster, penetrating the cell, now you have single file molecules of water going into the cell. This raises the level of hydration to another level. I don't know of anything else that can structure water in a way that it can get into the cell more easily than water treated with pH effects. I've been looking at this concept, oh gosh, um, probably since about uh, maybe 30 years ago, and I was able to actually talk to the company, and it's a very small company, you probably have never heard of them. 
They are not big on marketing. They're big on science. And I got some of the product, and I really liked it. But I was in a progression at that time in my life, and I moved on to other things. I wasn't really selling much in the way of products in those early days. That didn't come until later, and so it was just something that I tried. I really liked the product, but it wasn't really the end all for me at that time, and so I kept looking for something better, something else. And then uh, maybe I'm thinking probably about 10 or so years ago, I revisited this same company and got some more samples of their product, and in fact, actually, at one time, I was adding a little bit of it to the ionite. And it didn't work out so well adding it in, in the raw form. What we have found in the concentrate, what we have found since then is that when you put ionite in the water with the pH effects, it's a wonderful relationship. It's a wonderful partnership. The pH effects structuring the water in the way in a way that the ionite simply can't. But the ionite has all of these nutrients, the basic building blocks, these organic complexes that the cells need that is at the heart of all of their processes. And also it's very good for um, causing the um, cellular regeneration simply meaning that it stimulates the cells to re regenerate new healthy cells. You probably aren't aware, but your body changes every year. When I say changes, you have cells that replicate, make a new cell. The old cell dies off and is carried away as waste. So in a course of about four months, most of the cells in your, of your body have been replaced with new cells. Even your bones over the course of probably about a year have created new cells and the old ones died off and carried away. So just think about that. Your body is in a constant state of regeneration. It's regenerating new cells. And the idea of that is that you are constantly growing, but you are constantly renewing at the same time. Now, we want to know about this regeneration because it's very important in that if your cells don't have what they need, they don't do a very good job of recreating or regenerating a healthy cell. In fact, some have even described this as the process of aging. The lack of the nutrients that the cells need, even for stimulating the DNA, the memory bank of the cell, once that starts to diminish, the cells create or regenerate a new cell, but it's not as good as the old one. And then when that cell regenerates a new one, it's not as good as the previous one either. So you have this gradual decline in the health and functionality of cells, which again is what we would translate as aging. What the aging process is all about is regenerating less than healthy cells. So when you have something like the ionite, you get these nutrients, these building blocks that the cells need to create healthy cells. And what better way to transport the ionite into the cells than with something like pH effects, which is restructuring the water to make it far more hydrating than what we've known before. Also, along with the pH effects, we do a energy treatment or energy infusion with a similar method as what we do to create the energy effects product, the pendant. But we, of course, can't put that high of an energy into it. You wouldn't be able to drink it. And it's not because it would be toxic or anything. It would just be too strong. So we have to realize that it can be... Uh, it can have energy added to it, healthy energy, but we just can't overdo it. So this is a good balance between hydration and energizing. What would be the effects of drinking water that had these 
trains of molecules, H2O molecules, being, being more hydrating. Uh, I'm sorry, I forgot one other thing. It also instantaneously and permanently raises the pH. So it actually is one of the most effective ways of helping the body restore its own internal pH because now the water that you're drinking with the uh, pH effects added to it is going to have a very high pH set in stone. It's going to not be diminished even over a period of time. It stays at the pH it was raised to. Usually it's a couple of points above what the water originated at. So if you start out with distilled water, it's probably going to raise it about two points, which means it's going to go up from about a seven to about a nine. Depending on your source of water, it could even go a little bit higher than that. When we start to ingest this water, it helps to oxygenate our blood. It helps to release things that have been stored up by the cells. It, as I said, is a tremendous um, penetrator. And what that means is not only penetrates the cells, but it can penetrate into your food and actually assist in the digestive process. So one of the things you have to consider is we aren't so much what we eat, but we're really uh, subject to what we're absorbing. So it doesn't matter how healthy your diet is, if you're not absorbing the nutrients, it's really not going to have a healthful impact. But drinking water with the pH effects actually helps your body to break down food more effectively to release the nutrients. And therefore, you're going to get more out of your food. But you're also going to have better elimination. And I know when I first started working in a medical clinic in Indianapolis years and years ago, I remember talking to my mom on the phone, and she said, well, how's it going? And I said, it's going pretty good. It's just that I'm kind of surprised uh, about what the job actually entails. And she said, what do you mean? And I said, well, it seems like I'm spending an awful lot of time talking to people about their poop. <laughs> and the reason I say that in a, in a joking way is because it's true. A lot of people don't have proper elimination. And that means the longer the food uh, that was supposed to be waste, the uh, mostly fiber, is supposed to come out of your body about every 24 hours. So if you're not eliminating every day, maybe even two or three times a day, you're really not normal. And it's not that you aren't normal, it's that your digestion is not normal. And part of that has to do with not having the right amount of the right kind of water. So you're going to get the effect of having better digestion, but also better elimination while drinking the pH affects water. It is so powerful at detoxing that we have to caution only using one quarter of an ounce in a gallon of water. That seems like a little tiny amount, but that's all you need to raise the pH of the water and restructure the water. In fact, we have to caution in the instructions on the label that you put a, a capful in a gallon of water, you shake it up, and that's it. It's ready to go. You can start drinking it immediately. And you can only drink one pint a day for the first four days. You have to give your body a chance to get rid of the toxins that are stored up slowly. If you do it too quickly, if you would start out drinking a half a gallon of this water the very first day, you might be calling up saying, Fred, I can't drink this water. It makes me uh, feel funny or it makes me have a headache or it makes me have diarrhea. All of the symptoms of detoxification. But that's a good thing. In fact, it's a tribute to how effective this product is that you have to start out with caution. Then after the first four days, you can up your intake to about a, a quart a day. 
And then after about six days, drinking a quart a day, now you can go to a half a gallon a day. For children and pets, you would want to do about half that amount, meaning that you would probably do just an eighth of an ounce in a gallon of water. So this is uh, very exciting to me to know that this water, when added, uh, when you have uh, added the pH effects, is so strong that you have to be cautionary about how you start drinking it. You have to do it slowly and get your body used to it. Now, this is very exciting to me because it satisfies a lot of the things that we require to have good health, and that is we need to be hydrated, we need to be free of chemicals and toxins that we force our body to store up because they can't get flushed out. We need to have good digestion and good elimination. So all of those things are going to be initiated when you start drinking water with the pH effects in it. The second product is also a mineral-based product. Has anybody noticed that I'm really keen on minerals? The reason is because your body is so dependent on minerals. So years ago, I think this was a little more than 20 years ago, before the aquite nionite, I had learned about something that was rather interesting. Did you know that there are deposits of plants that were composted because they got covered up during the flood. And I'm not trying to get religious on you, but I believe very strongly, I think there's plenty of evidence to indicate that there was a worldwide global flood several thousand years ago. The debate is over what year it occurred rather than did it occur or not. I think most scientists agree, even atheists, that there was a global event that resulted in flooding. How do we know that? Well, because we have layers. Anybody who has ever seen pictures of the Grand Canyon will see layers and layers and layers. Those are layers of sediment that happen when you have water moving around material like earth and sand, and sometimes this will actually cover up vegetation. I've seen it happen on the uh, banks of a river after a flood. Vegetation got covered up with sediment. Well, if you go back again to the time of the dinosaurs, and no, I'm, I'm not one who believes in evolution. I believe that dinosaurs at one time were occupying the earth at the same time as man. And we see evidence of that in the fossil record. But the point of all that is to say, after the flood, there was vegetation that had been covered up with layers of sediment, even sand, and were trapped. And they didn't stay stagnant because of microbial activity, enzymes, and bacteria. These plants composted. Now, you could do a little experiment, and you could get really uh, uh, any old five-gallon bucket, cut out the bottom of it, poke some air holes in the sides and set it in the corner of your garden or somewhere uh, in your yard and you take the lid off and you put in your fruit and vegetable scraps and as you uh, you put the lid back on and as time goes by those vegetable uh, fruit and vegetable scraps will compost they break down again because of the activity of enzymes and bacteria and because of microbes, and also it is facilitated by water and heat. So a compost pile can actually generate heat during this decomposition process. Eventually, you can lift off the bucket, and you'll see this column of different layers and different stages of this composting process, but at the bottom, you will see what appears to be soil, dirt. Now, that is the complete compost process all in a, in a uh, uh, confined area. But what happens if that takes place on a global scale? Well, where do you think 
coal comes from? Where do you think oil comes from? These are both um, substances that we depend on in our daily lives and these substances actually are because and they are created from composted plants. In the case of coal, it was under great pressure and it was uh, compacted, squeezed, but it still is uh, composted plant material, vegetation. And again, it had to have occurred after a global event resulting in a flood. So now, we look at this material that's been discovered in several of the western states from uh, Utah. I've actually visited mines where they have scraped off the topsoil to reveal these composted plants. And there's some of these mines in Texas, in uh, the Dakotas, in New Mexico. There are several states that have located these mines of what is called humates, and it's spelled H-U-M as in Mary, A-T-E, humate, if you can put an S on the end for plural. These humate mines are being utilized as an agricultural fertilizer because when you think about it, if you had a field of crops and you picked all the the fruits and vegetables during the harvest, what you had left over, if it was chopped off and laid back down on the ground, eventually that would compost as well on the top of the soil, adding to the soil, but also giving back to the soil the minerals and nutrients that were contained in the plant. Now, the importance of this is that back at the time of the dinosaurs, we had a much different world. We had all of this rich, uh, actually mineral-rich topsoil that got moved around and covered up in some cases by the flood. And so these deposits actually trapped the nutrient density that was only available back before the flood. In other words, after the flood, we have found that our topsoils don't contain the same level of minerals that they once did. And you can, again, find this out by just digging down in the earth and examining these different layers. But certainly in the humates, we find all of the nutrients and we find minerals that we don't have at the t in the topsoil today. But we also find two other very unique substances. One is called humic acid, derived from the word humate, and the other one is called fulvic acid, F-U-L-V-I-C. These are two very unique acids that are created by none other than microbes that would inhabit the soil. But microbes are suffering today because of chemical farming. In fact, I've talked about this before. I think the greatest disaster with chemical farming isn't that they're using chemicals and we then are exposed and maybe even ingest chemicals when we eat that food, but the bigger problem is that these chemicals are killing off the microbes. So what, are the, uh, what is the purpose of the microbes? The microbes have a symbiotic relationship with the plants and they actually help to break down the minerals in the soil, and they also create these two substances, humic acid and fulvic acid, that the plant then takes up as it's taking in the uh, water that comes from rain. It's taking this up, and then the plant uses these things for their manufacturing process. Humic acid and fulvic acid are at the heart of the plant's ability to manufacture the nutrients that are in the fruits and vegetables that we eat. So all of that is to say, I have been looking at these humate deposits. I see what the literature shows their, their uh, uh, main purpose in, uh, as a um, fertilizer to restore the balance in the soil. I've seen that stated for years. But I've also seen that some companies 
have actually encapsulated these humates and used them as a nutritional supplement. I started experimenting with these again many years ago, more than 20 years ago, and the problem that I ran into was not the value of the nutrients in the humates. What I ran into a problem with was finding a good, clean source. It wasn't until probably, I think it was probably about um, maybe 10 years ago, uh, Kim, if she was around, she could help me remember exactly when, but I'm thinking around 10 years ago, maybe 12, that I finally found a very small company who is uh, located in an area that has access to a humate mine. But this mine is different than all the others I've seen before. This one is located deep enough in the ground that it actually was entombed by sandstone. What that means is that if you, and I've been out to Utah and seen some of the surface humate mines there, all you have to do is scrape back the topsoil with a bulldozer and there's the humate deposit. So it's very close to the surface, but this particular humate mine was actually much lower and, as I said, sealed like kind of in a vault until it was discovered, uh, again, probably 10, 12 years ago. But the importance of that is we know that there's pollution, right? Even rain coming through the sky is washing the, sky, uh, washing the atmosphere and it's picking up toxins and chemicals just as, it, as it's washing the atmosphere. And that ends up in the soil, which can end up in the humates. And plus, because they're close to the surface, they can move around a little bit. And so there's a problem with most humate sources. They're not very clean. The other thing is when you look at the availability of the nutrients, it seems that there's something better about the uh, availability, absorbability of this humate deposit that was deeper in the ground. So all of that is to say, Eureka, I found it. Something that is, in my opinion, the best source of humates in the world. And we have access to that. And so we had them package up some capsules, and it is so powerful that you can only take two a day. Some people that are very sensitive have to start out with as little as just one, cap, uh, one half of a capsule a day. Very strong. Why would they be so strong? Because they have properties that relate to detoxification as well. In other words, the acids from the humates, the humic and fulvic acid, are able to penetrate the cell to carry away, actually bind to and carry away toxic uh, chem toxins and chemicals and even heavy metals, carry them out of the cell and uh, be flushed out of the body. The fulvic acid is one of the great carriers of nutrients, and it is able to carry nutrients into the cell as well, meaning that your, your body is going to get a little usher supervising the transportation of nutrients into the cells. Why would that be important? Because sometimes the integrity of the cell membrane is such that it doesn't receive nutrients very well, and the fulvic acid facilitates that carrying in of the nutrients to the cell. So when you put these two together, you have a great combination of a completely naturally occurring uh, twins, if you will, these acids, fulvic and humic acid, that should have been, believe it or not, in our food supply today. But guess what? You'll find lower and lower volumes or quantities of humic and fulvic acid in food the more that minerals are absent from the soil. That's right. 
It's the minerals in the soil. That's what stimulates this production by these microbes of these humic and fulvic acids. And it's all, as I said, a symbiotic, re symbiotic relationship with the plants and the roots. And it's a very complicated. I'll explain it maybe on another call. But the microbes are actually causing the dissolvement of the minerals in the soil that make them available for the plant to then transport into and in, uh, become part of the manufacturing process to create the nutrients that we need from the fruits and vegetables. So just imagine there are vitamins, amino acids, all of uh, enzymes, there are a lot of nutrients packed into these little capsules of dynamin, and they are really, really good at helping our bodies in a number of different ways. So we have um, a few people that we contacted to see if they would be part of sort of a testing phase, and one of those people is our own Randy Steen. Randy, are you still on the phone? Yes, sir. Did I put you to sleep yet? <laughs> no, 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 no. No, not at all. So, Randy. Me, I just swallowed wrong and had a frog in my throat. I was trying to get rid of it before I answered. Oh, okay. Well, Randy, I remember um, not too long after you received your samples of the pH effects and Dynamin that you had a little bit of a problem. Would, would you tell us how these products helped you with that problem? Yeah, um, when just uh, <clears throat> excuse me. About the same day that you sent them to me to try, um, I had um, um, had the flu, and um, I don't get sick very often. But um, I got this flu that lasted for a couple of days, and when it was all done, uh, the, it was a type of flu where you have body aches and pains. And when it was all done, um, uh, I. The one day I was fine, but the next day I ended up having to be in the bathroom all day. Quite frankly, uh, you were talking about poop earlier. I had diarrhea, <laughs> and uh, it, you know I just couldn't get rid of it. And uh, and when I talked to you on the phone, you were telling me, uh, asking me how many of the uh, of the capsules I was taking. And of course, I, I told you I was taking uh, two of them, uh, one in the morning and one at night. And you said to increase them to double it, increase it to four. And I said, okay. And so that was in the morning. And uh, so I took all four at once. And uh, by that afternoon, uh, it completely shut down the diarrhea, and it never came back. I mean, it just totally shut it down. And uh, it never came back. And I was absolutely astounded at, at what this stuff did, because I never expected a capsule that I thought was just basically a mineral capsule would do anything like that. And uh, so I was, I was absolutely astounded, Fred. I mean, it, it, it's just fabulous, fabulous. And uh, you know, <clears throat> well, I, I was just, uh, you know, once I, that happened to me, then I started doing some more research into this, and uh, and I, uh, you know, there are so many benefits to to these dynamins that you. I mean, you, we would be on this phone for probably the next 48 hours if we were to go over everything that this stuff does. I mean, I was absolutely astounded. One thing that really struck with me, though, Fred, that I, and I've got to bring this up because it's something in all my years of nutrition I've never, ever seen before. <coughs> excuse, excuse me. This has got the ability, as you said earlier, it's a... It's a uh, um, uh, a super antioxidant. I mean, the, the antioxidant uh, qualities of just one of the ingredients, by the way, that's in this, uh, you were talking about the fulvic acid, is astounding. But what's even more important to me is, you talked a little while ago about the, the chelation process. It has the ability to attach to free radicals in your body and has the ability to uh, to take uh, inorganic minerals, these are, I mean, let's say the people, you know, you've heard of people taking calcium and they get these calcium deposits because 
it, it's not the proper type of calcium that they're taking, so the body doesn't know what to do with it and just drops it off someplace. It has the ability to pick up on this stuff and change it back into from a bad guy to a good guy, so to speak, and allows it, your body to use it. I mean, it's the most astounding thing I've ever seen. And that's just one of the multitudes of things that this stuff does. So, I mean, I just had to throw that out because I, I don't know if I told you that before or not, but it was absolutely astounding when I read just that. And, and there's, there's a whole bunch of other things I could tell you about that, that it does, just that I've learned. Of course, you already know that, but I could say on this call, but we'd be here all night if I started. Yes, thank you, Randy. And one of the other very impressive qualities of humates with the humic and fulvic acids is that they can rearrange molecules. So you could have something that was actually toxic, and it has properties that when the molecules are rearranged actually can turn into something healthy. And that was very surprising to me. I didn't know it was possible for this conversion to take place, and I was right. It isn't possible unless you have humic and fulvic acid available. Yes, and the other thing about it being antioxidant is that it can take a free radical and turn it into a plus. In other words, it can give a donor electron to that free radical, which is really defined as a molecule with a missing a, a one or more missing electrons, and it can donate and turn that into something that is useful now instead of something that's harmful. So this is, it's absolutely fascinating, and you're right, Randy, we could be on the phone for 48 hours easily talking about this. I once uh, acquired a book, it was $150. This was, again, back in the 90s, and it was all about humic and fulvic acid. The book isn't even available today. If you could find one, it'd probably cost you $1,000 or more. And you just imagine a thousand page book. When I started reading it, I couldn't stop. I read and read and read just nonstop until I was able to grasp that these were two very important substances, again, that should be in our food supply, but are almost entirely absent. So thank you for sharing that, Randy. And now we're going to go to another woman who has been a uh, really becoming a good friend of mine. We've not met in person yet, but she uh, and I talk on the phone quite regularly. And she's just a very sweet, very caring, very humble person. And I know that if you ever have a chance to talk to her, you'll feel like you've known her for years. Bernice Gould, are you on the line? I am. Hi, everybody. Okay. Well, you were one of our testers, too, and uh, tell the people so they'll have a little idea of something very tragic that happened to you and why that turned you into a very sensitive person. Okay. Um, I was chemically exposed to some toxic chemicals about six and a half years ago on vacation of all times. And since I had led a very pristine life, I got rid of chemicals in my house and ate organic back in the 70s. I was one of those health nuts that people made fun of <laughs> back then. Um, anyway, um, so I had a really pretty clean system compared to the rest of people around. And, you know, I was exposed to these toxic chemicals when I was sleeping for about, for about three hours, I suppose, and uh, my husband and I. And they said, oh, it's not toxic, it's not toxic. Well, you know, we ended up going into the emergency room in the afternoon, and my husband had other challenges, and they said, had I not brought him in, they didn't even know if he'd make it through the night. They said he had about a 50-50 chance. And, you know, long term, he did not make it. But I did. I barely made it, and I really got a good lesson in toxicity because having had a pretty clean system and then getting it flooded with toxins, I mean, I didn't even imagine what could happen to me. I got very debilitated and degenerated, and I almost died. Um, but luckily, you know, I had some contacts for some things that kept me alive while I figured out, you know, some of the things that I could do. And, you know, when I, when I met 
Dr. Fred, actually I was referred to him because I had had another chemical exposure, but this time it was from something that I was taking that was supposed to be healthy and good. So the lesson there I learned is you have to be able to trust your source and the company and where things come from. It was a very tough lesson on that because I knew I was poisoned, but I didn't have a clue what it was coming from. And it was from three herbal formulas. I'm not going to go into the situation, but a lot of people ended up in the hospital for, from, from taking those after about the first two months. So here I was. I finally found out what it was that people were getting sick from that, and that was the source of the poisoning this time. But luckily, somebody introduced me to Dr. Fred. I was practically in tears because it set me back all the healing I had done in the past five years, I think it was then. You know, I felt, oh, no, I'm back to square one. But I went on um, ionite and aqualite, and they, it helped me and a friend of mine also that was very, that I was very close with that got very sick. And in days, we rehydrated. We had both gotten extremely dehydrated. And from my first experience, what I, one of the things I learned is if your cells are full of toxins, those receptors in your cells are occupied. So what happened with me was I did have some tests, and they found that although I was drinking good water, because I've been doing that since the 70s, and I was taking like really super dense nutrient, you know, complex type of products, most of that did not get into my cells because my receptors were occupied with toxic you know, substances. So that's why I wasn't getting well. I was getting worse and worse. And that never happened to me before. I always knew what to do and figured it out to handle everything for my, fa- you know, for my family, for my kids and everything. So that was a very strong lesson on what happens. And this happened so quickly that I knew this was the source. And when I started on the water, it, it, in, in a few days, both of us got hydrated. We both had edema from all the water we were drinking to try to hydrate ourselves. That went, that went down, um, and I started to feel better. Uh, and it was, um, you know, it was a process, and I didn't pay much attention to it. I just was pretty religious in using this water every day. And then I had a friend that I needed to help, I wanted to help, that was really going downhill from the same experience. And I hadn't been in touch really with Dr. Fred all this time and just took my stuff and and went along with my life. And um, out of that conversation that ensued with this couple, I learned a lot of things about the benefits of what these two products were doing. And, you know, it's like the light bulb went on. When, when you have all kinds of different problems and they disappear, and they're little problems, they disappear, we forget about them. We forget that we ever had them. And then I realized it was being helped with, you know, a healing from my brain. I had a traumatic brain injury 21 years ago. Anyway, to make a long story short, I got some of these Dynamins and, and PHFX to try And I'm still very sensitive to things because I was diagnosed with multiple chemical sensitivities and I was told that I was going to have that for the rest of my life, which was very limiting in terms of me going even outside to drive a car because, you know, you have the exhaust in the air. All of these things affected me very negatively. So um, I I tried, started the Dynamins and the PHFX and at the time it wasn't determined that we should take a little less. And I figured I'm feeling great, so I took um, I put a capsule and a half a gallon of water, and drank you know two pints of that the first couple of days, and um, it's powerful stuff. I had to drop back down. I actually stopped because I I got you know cleansing reactions. I had more toxicity still in my system than I had anticipated having. Um, because my liver had been compromised because that's an organ that, that, pl- that detoxifies and I thought my liver was better because I had no more pain. But I was a little surprised at, at the fact that I still have a bit to get rid of. So I got off it for a couple of days and then I decided I was going to try the water for a few days and I cut that way back and it was great. I felt really good on it and then I decided I'm going to try the Dynamins by themselves this time. Um, because before that, it was way too much. So I did, um, uh, t- I did, I've done it for two days. This was my second day. Um, wait a minute, my second, my second or third day is today. So I did it um, in the evening, 
I did. I cut it in half in coconut oil. So I took half of the what was in the capsule in coconut oil. It was last night. I took it. Wait a minute. Let me just think. Two nights ago, I took it late at night. It was very late. Um, and probably I shouldn't have taken it so late, and, and, I, and I was planning on going to sleep, but I got busy with something, and it was a couple hours before I went to sleep, which probably was not good. If I'd probably gone to sleep right away, my body would have utilized it in the, in the regeneration process at night. But I was up until 3 o'clock, wide awake, happy, and working and stuff, and then I finally decided I would take some melatonin and go to sleep. <laughs> So today I took it in the afternoon earlier. I took it early evening, about 5 o'clock. So I'm going to see how I do now. The interesting thing was today, after having gotten much less sleep and in the wrong parts of the night, I had a great day. I mean, my energy was great. It was even. I was happy. I was able to work all day. I'm still going strong. So we got some powerful stuff here. So you would say that it, it's very energizing. It, it, it absolutely it was. I mean, I'm not going to take it late at night. Um, I tried it at, like I said, today about 5, and I'm going to see what time. I'm going to go to sleep earlier. Um, well, act, shortly after this call, I guess, because it's heading on to 10 o'clock on the East Coast. And I'm going to see, I'm going to test to see how late in the day I can take it and not be affected at night. And um, and then in a few days I'll increase it to um, to a to a whole capsule a day. In other words, I'll take the half twice. Right now I'm just doing it once, and I'll build up and see you know experiment around with what works for me. But yes, it's energizing physically and my brain thinking and everything. You know my brain power. Well, I think that's uh, and I appreciate your your uh, sharing that. Uh, I think it's a good example of just how powerful these two products are because you had already taken aqualite and ionite and helped to detoxify some of these chemicals, but then, as I'm understanding, when you started on the pH effects, it just took that to another level. Exactly, and it surprised me that I still had a lot of toxicity left. I, I, you know, it's like I want to yeah. get through it all. <laughs> Yes. Okay, well, great. I appreciate you sharing that. So and now we're going to... We're I just going want to, to say one more thing, yes. that, I, that I'm so happy and so grateful to have connected with you and, and Kim and to be with Basic Reset because these are products we can absolutely trust. And I'm, I know I don't have to be afraid of going through my second experience of using something that, that, is t- that I'm told oh, these are medicinal herbs and they're very good and blah, 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 and then almost dying from it, you know? So I'm very grateful to be here. I love both of you and and all your products and everything that you're doing and how you're going about it. So I wanted to thank you. Well, thank you, Bernice. We love you too, and we appreciate having your help in spreading the word to other people about these wonderful products. And it, it reinforces what I said earlier, which is, We only are going to carry products that are effective. It doesn't matter what the science is behind it. We want products that are effective. So now I want to go to someone who is very sweet and dear to my heart, and that's my lovely wife, Kim. Kim, are you there? Yes, I am. Well, go ahead and share your experience with the Dynoman and the pH effects. I'm happy to. Happy New Year, everyone. I'm so excited about this year, especially what God has been doing already in the start and the head of this year, and it's 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 very exciting. I'm just blown away by these products, and I want to share with you my experience um, uh, to just give you an idea. My life in the past several weeks has been very, um, I would say, stressful. Um, I have a very high um, schedule, and I can start early in the morning, and I can get going on a project, and hours have gone by, and Fred's not even up yet. <laughs> and so um, I just get so zoned in on on deadlines and what has to be done, 
and I sometimes neglect my own health. And that's what's been happening um, here lately. I, uh, Fred can come to me, and it can be 11 o'clock, and he can say, um, are you drinking any water? And I'm like, oh, no, I need some water. Could you get me some water? And I've had uh, coffee, uh, one or two cups, usually just one, but every now and then a cu- two cups, and no water. And I've been up for hours. And I don't even know why, but that has happened. And there's probably several of you out there that can relate to this, but I just sometimes fall off the water wagon. And so um, thank goodness I have my husband there to remind me. And so um, so here we have the pH fix water, and I'm to drink that with the ionite in it. And it has over and over and over again, because I have, I have been guilty of this situation and problem for days, astonished me that when I start drinking the water with the pH effects and the ionite that I'm instantly hydrated and I just can't believe it and uh, then I've gone I'm you know drinking two I'm up to you know drinking a quart of this water a day and I'm supposed to drink another quart of aqualite and ionite water but I have not been doing that because um, I've just not been good about drinking my water here lately. And um, so I'm excited, though, to, to – I'm so amazed, and maybe this, there's a purpose in this, because the quart of water that I'm drinking is really hydrating me. So I'm very excited that I feel as good as I do with all the stress that I've been under. Like, for instance, today, um, I – didn't eat anything until 3 o'clock in the afternoon, and I had to rush off to the printer, and I had heated my soup up three times and still hadn't had a bite of it, and finally I was just gobbling some down from the pot on the stove so I could get out the door. I mean, this is kind of how it's been some. And so thank goodness for these products that have rescued me in my just busy busyness. Um, and then uh, on top of that, you know, I'm taking, trying to remember. I'm really bad about remembering, you know, to take things. So Fred, thank goodness, he helps me. Um, so I have the, the Donovan as well, and it says take two a day. Well, I have missed some days of taking any at all, but I'm getting better and, there, and I'm, I'm doing pretty good, but I noticed. The days that I take it, and this is great that I'm this way because I can give you this testimony. <laughs> the days that I take it, I notice better digestion and elimination. And if the days that I don't take it, it's just back to normal. But then the days that I take it, I'm, I'm seeing this, this better digestion and increase uh, in elimination is so much better. So I'm impressed by that. And so I guess, Fred, with my um, – I haven't been good about taking all the supplements I'm supposed to be taking, but I guess I have a good testimony based on the fact that I haven't been because the if I'm doing half of what I'm supposed to do, I'm getting way more reward from the half that I'm doing now than the full that I was doing before. So I'm I'm very impressed with the products and I just love them and uh, I just can't say enough about how wonderful and effective they are. Thank you, Kim. And yes, I'll have to tell you real quickly my own story and then we're going to quickly go and pick a winner of our fifty dollar prize that we give away on every call. But when I first started taking the pH effects and the Dynamin, of course, in order to be a a good test subject, I stopped taking the Aqualite and Ionite, and then I started adding just the Ionite in with that water. So taking just the pH effects, Ionite in the same water, and then taking a couple of capsules of the uh, Dynamin. I was amazed at how much more energy I had. And the same thing happened to me. I noticed, and and this, I don't want to sound gross, but it seemed like more was coming out in the toilet than what I was putting in my mouth. I couldn't believe it. 
So it let me believe or let me understand right away that not only had my digestion improved, but also my elimination. And even, I believe, it is getting rid of maybe some what we uh, scientifically call fecal material that maybe had been clinging to my colon wall. Because I tell you what, it's a, a wonderful experience when you can have a good bowel movement, and I think many people are probably listening to the call and thinking, how soon can I get this product because I have trouble in that area? Well, it's coming. Your rescue is coming, and it's coming very soon. So that's my uh, little two cents of it. And I want to go now and uh, just, just to let you know, I haven't even scratched the surface of information that I'm going to be giving you in the coming weeks and months about these two new products. But for right now, we need to wrap the call up, and I want to call out a phone number here.